Right, tonight, if you want to catch a game at the Dome, a better game to catch than the women's game. Easy to get in, out, great seats, and a great team, too, Peter. Yeah, I've checked out a game this season, and it's amazing. A really good team, of course, the coach as well. And how about the fact that you can walk up the hill to the Dome, and it's not freezing or snowing? Bonus points there. And in fact, it has been a long time since we've, number one, been freezing, and number two, seen a bunch of snow. Let me talk about it right now. 32 degrees. Have a look at that number right now. It is a temperature, of course, that, you know, certainly is, means something to you because, of course, you go either getting snow or freezing rain or whatever. Oh, 32, by the way, is also right around the normal high, but we haven't even seen 32 at all for 176 hours consecutively and counting. Now, coming up next, we do have a chance late tonight, tomorrow morning, and again, Friday night, Saturday morning to get close to 32. Let's say we don't. Well, we'll certainly get there Saturday night into Sunday morning as we'll be down into the 20s. Besides just 32 degrees, we have been way above average for eight straight days. Oh, and by the way, the last time Syracuse has had an inch of snow or more was back on the 23rd. That was right here this past almost 14 days ago the day before Christmas Eve, so that's 13 days ago. I do expect us to get a bit colder and at least have a chance for some snowflakes flying around. Overnight, though, it's pretty quiet with just some clouds in and out of the area, and if you happen to see some breaks in the clouds, you might even be able to see a full moon. New system, new precipitation, as opposed to the recent ones that have been giving us just flat rain. This one will have an opportunity for wet snow showers and rain showers, but with temperatures likely above freezing when that happens, it's going to be tough to get any accumulation worse than a quick coating, especially over higher elevations. But, yeah, expect a cloudier day tomorrow with, again, some of those passing rain and wet snow showers. Our real next best chance everywhere to get a little bit of sticking snow is Friday night to Saturday morning. A spray of snow showers, and then kind of trying to become a band here, east-southeast and then southeast of Lake Ontario Saturday morning before it kind of fizzles to flurry Saturday afternoon. But temperatures are getting colder, and notice we're going below freezing by sunset Saturday. We've brought back our snowfall accumulation map for central New York. It's been a while since we've shown this. Granted, for January standards, this is puny. This is lame, especially for snow lovers and for ski areas and snowmobilers. But from about roughly sunset Friday to sunset Saturday, many spots have a chance of a trace to an inch or two. Best chance for more than two inches, probably just the Tug Hill Plateau. Numbers will actually be back to normal for Sunday for like one day. We start around 22 and at 34, but then we're back above average Monday and Tuesday with quiet weather. A stronger system coming through Wednesday has the opportunity of bringing us below normal for a day or two next week. Stanley Law Skywatch. Well, right now it's pretty quiet. In downtown Syracuse on the Regency Tower camera. Now back inside.